welcome back to my channel you guys. I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite horse care products. I have all four horses out in the sun right now and I'm about to give them a good grooming. So I thought I would share with you what I use and come along with me. With four horses you can imagine I spend quite a bit of time grooming and some of my favorite grooming products I'm going to share with you. The first grooming product I'm going to talk about is the Slick and Easy Horse Grooming Block which is Lava Stone. I think we paid five bucks for this. You can see the paper adhesive from where I pulled the price tag off but these are brand new I already used the one that's open this stuff is amazing for taking off hair and dirt it makes them look shiny it's a really 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 good product I've used for a long time and will always use the second grooming product I absolutely love is the Apana uh, Glossy Groomer. It is a soft curry comb. It's extremely flexible. It looks like this. I use this on Regal. He has a gnarly thick winter coat and I will show you what he looks like after I get done using this. It gets the hair off of him and it's extremely easy to clean. This is the Apana Glossy Groomer. Um, just doing his coat, just this little part of his coat here. Look at this. This boy is losing so much hair right now. This is what this curry comb looks like after every groom on Regal during the winter time. I can't believe he has any hair left on him, but he does. He has a lot of hair left. But this is so easy to clean. It is so easy to use. And it, it gets the dirt out after a good curry. And then all I do is use the body brush to uh, swipe it off and he's good to go. Next products I wanted to share with you are by Equus. There are several Equus products that I love. The Survivor is a mane and tail detangler and that stuff is truly amazing. It gets out every Rastafarian knot that Cass manages to put into his mane, uh, even when it's in braids. I'm not kidding. I have taken a dreadlock out of a braid of his, and that stuff does it. It smells incredible. It smells like plumerias. It's always been one of my favorite products to use just to uh, detangle. I just love Equus as a, as a company as it is, and I love their products. Um, I will probably always use them. Cowboy Magic products are also a great company. Uh, I use the green spot remover on the grays, and it works wonderful. It takes out those uh, nasty little poop stains that they seem to acquire every single day. I also have Cowboy Magic shampoo and conditioner. I'm sure there's a number of other products I haven't pulled out yet, but they are also one of my favorite products to use, and I've been using them for years. So, uh, that is another company that I will probably never give up. This is Thrush Red. It is uh, for thrush in the hooves and I use this on Regal mostly because he tends to get moisture in his feet. My shoer had to take a huge hunk out of his hoof a couple weeks back because he had a little bit of moisture behind the wall of his hoof and 
we had to get rid of it. So uh, I love I love Thrush Red. Uh, it's by Dervet, and it's a great product to use. Uh, this is something I will always keep in my tech uh, grooming kit as well. So this is a heavy duty mane and tail comb that I like to use by Oster. This is what it looks like. And that's what it looks like from the back. This seems to pull tangles out without ripping them out, which is nice. Something I always feel bad doing is ripping tangles out of their mane or tail. The next product I love is this zinc oxide paste. It is by Telesis, I believe. And this I use on Cass's face when he gets that weird black fungus on his muzzle and under his eyes. Um, it killed the fungus. It was amazing. And his face has been clear ever since. And that was four months ago. So, uh, I will always keep this in my horse care product kit. This is about 24 bucks. I got it here at American Horse Products in San Juan Capistrano. I think that's a pretty darn reasonable price for this huge jug that is still mostly full. And it's an amazing product. I will never use anything else to get rid of that um, yucky, weird, black ugliness that they get sometimes. The next product I absolutely love using is this Gruma uh, Soft Touch Brush. It is like a very soft curry. I use this to do their faces and I have also used these brushes for years. Uh, definitely a staple in my horse care uh, box. These brushes are goat hair and they're extremely soft with a wood back. I don't actually know what company produced these ones, but I will put it in the description box. They are so wonderful to use on a horse's face. They are not hard. Uh, they don't scratch. They don't seem too abrasive. I love using these on their faces, their ears, their sensitive parts of their legs, like their, uh, their elbow area. Wonderful brushes. These three brushes are by Tail Tamer. They are a staple in my body brush bag, and they're extremely soft, easy to use. Uh, I like the little handle grip on them. I think that these body brushes are soft enough that it feels good, but they manage to get the job done, get the dirt off, make them look nice and pretty sleek. So I will uh, definitely keep this in my grooming kit. My favorite hoof picks to use are the Partrade Rubber Grip Hoof Picks. I love these because the grip is soft. I have had a problem with other hoof picks breaking, believe it or not. Uh, the plastic seemed cheap and that hasn't happened with these. I have multiple hoof picks uh, because they seem to walk off every five minutes. But definitely Partrade, one of my favorite uh, companies. and. Uh, it, this is an essential product for your horse, so uh, I will probably not use another kind, at least for a while. Bronco by far is one of my favorite fly spray uh, companies to use. They also make sprays for dogs. A lot of their sprays will get rid of flies, ticks, gnats, you name it. I have used Bronco for a long time. It really seems to work. We don't have a terrible fly problem where we are, but in the summer, more so obviously than the winter, definitely need to put a little bit on. 
Uh, I never had my horses have an allergic reaction to it either, so that's nice. This product that I love is the Rainmaker Triple Action uh, Hoof uh, Lotion. Uh, Regal and Raina tend to get kind of dry hooves, so I put that on them and then use the Mega Tech by Equus along their coronet bands and it seems to keep their hooves healthy and strong. What do you think of the hoof stuff that I put on you? Is it good? The last horse care product that I'm going to show you guys is the Stiff Bristle Body Brushes. Again, they have no name on them and I don't remember who produced them, but these have a wood back and very stiff bristle and I will include the name in the description once I locate it. So uh, these brushes are awesome for really removing the hair. It really, really helps. And uh, especially Regal with this thick, weird winter coat, uh, these brushes really keep him clean. No Dawn is not a horse care product, but I do want to include it in this video because that is what I use to clean my brushes with. I just mix it in with a little water, put my brushes in it, rinse them off, leave them out to dry, and the next day they're good as new, cleaner, and disinfected. So that is awesome. And I love Dawn as a company. I have actually used Dawn to clean baby pigeons with that were covered in axle grease and I think it's an amazing product. Cass is helping me brush his face. Look at that dirt on your face. How do you manage to get such a dirty face? This is the only horse I know that can go face first into the dirt and not care. Thanks guys for sticking with me for my favorite horse care products. I know there were a lot of them and I was losing the sunlight, the sun was going behind the mountain, so pardon that, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Anyone who owns a horse with unshod feet will know how weird their feet really look. That is the bottom of an unshod hoof. It is so strange. And it seems like they barely ever get anything in their feet when they have no shoes. And here's a shod hoof with a pad and uh, packed full of sawdust.